Please adhere to YouTube's selected guidelines before viewing content of this video. I do not encourage or condone any products, actions, or behaviors shown in this video. All videos are produced in a safe, professional, and controlled environment. Please do not attempt to replicate any actions performed during the video. All actions are performed by professionals. Alrighty, so today I rolled a cigarette with a Band-Aid wrapper, and now I'm going to be smoking it to heal my lungs. I honestly do think that this will help heal my lungs because, well, Band-Aids, if I can actually grab it, you know what I'm saying? Band-Aids do indeed help heal you and everything like that kind of thing. So if I, theoretically speaking, I'm like, I guess kind of not really theoretically speaking, you know what I'm saying? But theoretically speaking, if I rolled a cigarette, with a band-aid wrapper and then I decided to smoke it, wouldn't it help heal my lungs and prevent me from getting lung cancer? That's kind of the idea around this video, you know what I'm saying? And I definitely do think that it will work. But do I think that this cigarette is actually going to smoke very well at all? And actually, I totally do think that this cigarette is going to smoke pretty well. The Band-Aid wrapper is actually really, really thin and everything like that kind of thing, almost as thin as rolling paper. So I definitely do think that it's going to smoke pretty good, but I don't know if it's actually going to taste very good at all. I got to play on stuff because, well, as you guys can see, there is a bunch of ink on the wrapper and everything like that, you know what I'm saying? And also the wrapper is a very, very, very different consistency from rolling rolling paper. This is more like wax paper than rolling paper, that is for sure. So as such, I don't really know how good it's going to taste, but I definitely do think that it's going to smoke pretty good. But I do think without further ado, though, it is now time for me to go ahead and get, well, my cigarette that I rolled with a Band-Aid wrapper all lit up and go ahead and start healing my lungs and preventing myself from getting, well, lung cancer. You know what I'm saying? I do think without further ado, though, let's go ahead and get this lit up and let's go ahead and start smoking a Band-Aid wrapper cigarette. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? If I can actually get it lit up. <sighs> right off the bat, as predicted, it doesn't really taste very good. But that was also only the first hit, so for all I know, it could have just been the lighter fluid and everything like that, you know what I'm saying? <sighs> wow. The second hit tastes a lot better. Definitely a lot of the sort of bad taste and everything like that kind of thing in the first hit was definitely because of the lighter fluid from the D Jeep lighter that I'm using today that definitely was not a super pleasant hit, but it was a hit nonetheless. And I'm certainly getting my nicotine intake, so certainly no complaints for me. And I'm getting my nicotine intake while healing my lungs, so certainly no complaints for me, that is for sure. And I'm saying, I'm saying. It definitely, though, still does not taste like the greatest thing in the world, that is for sure, you know what I'm saying? It definitely still does not taste like the greatest thing in the world, but overall, it's not smoking super terribly or anything like that kind of thing. Definitely, I could have done a better job packing this and everything like that kind of thing, which is why it's burning a little bit unevenly, but in all honesty, it's really not smoking all that bad, and the ash is really not all that, well, ashy either kind of thing. It's not, the, the ash is not super papery and everything like that kind of thing, which really is just unpleasant because you could just get so much ash in your face. It really is just not a very good experience, but this on the other hand really is smoking like a rolling paper no complaints on my behalf you know what i'm saying while it might have a worse taste and everything like that kind of thing this is not a terrible alternative to rolling papers <sighs> gotta get myself a little bit of screenshot real quick you know what i'm saying <sighs> overall though the taste is terrible and there really is no point to doing this besides the fact that I want to heal my lungs and everything like that kind of thing because to roll this I did indeed need well a rolling paper and everything like that kind of thing so while this might be an alternative rolling paper if you're out of rolling paper and everything like that kind of thing this is not going to work because I used a total of three rolling papers to make this one cigarette you know what I'm saying I took all of the gum strips off of those rolling papers and just stuck them on the end of the band-aid wrapper right here and everything like that kind of thing so it definitely was a little bit of a waste of rolling paper but still it's worth it to heal my lungs and everything like that you know what i'm saying certainly no complaints on my behalf and overall this is burning decently evenly it's certainly not the most even thing in the world that is for sure but it's not burning super badly or anything like that kind of thing the taste might not really be all that good but it is actually burning at about the same speed as a normal cigarette and everything like that kind of thing so honestly this really is a good alternative the filter is getting very mushy as we can tell all that ink all that wax and everything like that kind of thing definitely is coming through making there just be a little bit more tar than normal rolling papers and everything like that kind of thing but in all honesty that is what it is. It's really not the biggest deal in the world. <sighs> yeah, overall, certainly no complaints on my behalf besides the taste. The taste is definitely not very good, but that's kind of to be expected. It's wax paper. 
with a bunch of glue on the inside and everything like that kind of thing with a bunch of ink and everything like that you know what i'm saying definitely to be expected that it's not really going to taste like the best thing in the world but overall certainly still no complaints on my behalf i certainly am healing my lungs right now and preventing myself from getting lung cancer so certainly no complaints on my behalf you know what i'm saying same but overall yeah not a bad experience you know what i'm saying not a bad experience and i will admit i certainly am feeling something from the tobacco i might not be feeling super buzzed or anything like that right now but i certainly am feeling something nonetheless you know what i'm saying so certainly no complaints on my behalf about that as well <sighs> yeah overall I'm legitimately impressed. I've previously tried smoking a cigarette that was rolled with a sticky note and printer paper and stuff like that kind of thing. And both of those experiences were low key kind of trash kind of thing. The best experience I've had rolling something that you're really not meant to roll with was with a CVS receipt. And this is probably the most similar experience I've had to that CVS receipt. The CVS receipt definitely is still the best experience I've had with rolling something you're really not meant to roll and smoking and everything like that kind of thing because the taste honestly was pretty clean. This on the other end, definitely not a super clean taste or anything like that you can definitely tell there's just a lot of chemicals in the paper and everything like that kind of thing a lot of glue a lot of ink everything like that you know what i'm saying it's definitely not the greatest taste in the world definitely not as good as the cbs receipt i previously smoked but still pretty good nonetheless you know what i'm saying i'm saying no complaints on my behalf well i do suppose minor complaints on my behalf but no complaints on my behalf you know what i'm saying i'm saying and the body off of this is pretty good as well no complaints on my behalf, you know what I'm saying? No complaints on my behalf at all. And now that I've gotten a little bit over halfway through the cigarette, I will admit, this certainly is getting me a little bit buzzed, that is for sure, you know what I'm saying? The, I rolled this with some Bugler's Blue Tobacco, and it certainly is getting me pretty buzzed. Certainly no complaints on my behalf, that is for sure. Am I healing my lungs though? Am I helping myself prevent myself from getting lung cancer? Most certainly, you know what I'm saying? Most certainly. I am most certainly preventing myself from getting lung cancer by doing this. So certainly no complaints on my behalf. But man, oh man. Yeah, this is not a very good taste though. I will admit, not a very good taste at all. Definitely something that I'm glad I tried. Not something I'd do again. Not something I'd recommend any of y'all do at home kind of thing. Do not try this at home. This is still a cigarette. Even though I'm saying it's healing my lungs and everything like that kind of thing, it might heal my lungs, but I'm pretty sure it'll harm y'all's lungs and everything like that, you know what I'm saying? So do not try this at home. And uh, yeah, this is not a good experience either. So there's just another reason for y'all not to try it at home, you know what I'm saying? I'm saying. And look at the filter. It is just getting black. That is how much tar is coming off this wax paper. It is just getting black right now. Definitely not the greatest, definitely not the greatest thing in the world. That is for sure, you know what I'm saying? Definitely not the greatest thing in the world. Would not recommend, that is for sure. <sighs> I'm definitely getting lots of tar in my lungs right now, that is for sure. But all of that tar is gonna be helping me heal my lungs and everything like that, so I do suppose it's not the worst thing in the world, you know what I'm saying? I'm saying. Oof, yeah. This is getting really rough towards the end and everything like that kind of thing and that taste is just getting worse and worse and worse as we get towards the end i can barely taste any of the tobacco kind of thing i could taste a little bit of the tobacco at the beginning since there was just not really a lot of tar coming in the filter and everything like that you know what i'm saying but now that we've burned through a lot of the wax now that we've burned through a lot of the glue and now that we've burned through a lot of the ink on the band-aid wrapper i can definitively say that this does not taste very good you know what i'm saying this certainly does not taste very good but it's experience i'm still glad i had you know what i'm saying i'm saying but i do think without further ado I don't even know if I'm going to finish this off because we're getting pretty close to the end. And in all honesty, it is just tasting terrible, getting super rough and everything like that. You know what I'm saying? So I do think without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and just chain one or two more hits and go ahead and end off the video right there after I give you guys my final thoughts on, well, wrap, rolling a cigarette with a Band-Aid wrapper and smoking it to heal my lungs. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying. <sighs> 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 uh. Uh, terrible yeah let's just go ahead and put that out and i'm glad i put it out when i did you know what i'm saying because the filter is just about right here so we were pretty much hitting the filter and everything like that you know what i'm saying but look at how black and mushy the filter got you can just tell there was there was so much tar coming through that filter definitely not the greatest experience in the world but something i'm still glad i tried because well i certainly did heal my lungs that is for sure you know what i'm saying what i'm saying and overall how was this experience well rolling it up besides sticking the glue on and everything like that kind of thing besides sticking the sticky part of the rolling paper on and everything like that kind of thing was pretty easy in all honesty i just used my rolling machine it was pretty easy to roll up it has just about the same consistency and the same sort of like i would definitely have to say 
what's the right word to put for, what's the right word to say? Definitely the same. I think consistency is about the same, is about the right word to say and everything like that. I do apologize about getting my words all jumbled up and everything like that. I am pretty buzzed right now, I will admit. But I definitely have to say the paper is about the same consistency as rolling paper. So it's pretty easy to roll up and everything like that kind of thing besides the fact that you need to stick on the rolling paper sticky bits and everything like that, you know what I'm saying? Other than that though, the smoking experience itself was really not all that good. Don't get me wrong, I did get pretty buzzed and I still am pretty buzzed right now. But the smoking experience was really not all that good. While I did get buzzed, the taste was terrible. It burned pretty evenly though, I gotta give it credit. It had a pretty good body, but the filter got really, really mushy because of all that tar coming through and everything like that kind of thing. Definitely not the best experience in the world, but I'm still glad to have healed my lungs by rolling a cigarette with a Band-Aid wrapper, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? So certainly no complaints on my behalf, that is for sure. But I do think without further ado, those are my final thoughts on this experience. This experience might have not been the greatest thing in the world, but I'm still glad I tried it, you know what I'm saying? And if you guys are glad I tried it as well, and if you guys enjoyed the video, of course, please make sure to like and subscribe for more content. I have my Instagram my book, my merch, my P.O. box, my second channel, all in the description down below, you know what I'm saying? Go check it all out. But yeah, until the next one, y'all, stay safe and peace and have a great one. Yes, sir, yes, sir, you know what I'm saying?